it's JJ and this is another Travel Tuesday with Today with JJ. As you see by the title of the video, we are going to the wonderful destination of Tahiti. One of the best ways to spend a Tahitian vacation is to lie back with a tropical cocktail in hand and bask in the sunshine at your resort of choice. You can also swim, snorkel, surf, and so much more. To take in the incredible natural landscapes, you can hop onto a ferry to one of the many nearby islands. But if you're itching for a different kind of adventure, you can hike to a wonderful waterfall or shop for souvenirs in the bustling capital city of Papeete. And here are my 10 amazing things to do in Tahiti, mostly in Papeete. <laughs> Number one on the list is La Plague de Maui. The primary reason why so many people flock to this stretch of shoreline is the sand. While many of the island's beaches boast a volcanic black hue, La Plague de Maui dazzles in pearly white. Located on Tahiti's southern shore, the clean warm waters of the nearby lagoon are another draw. It is said that the water is unbelievably clear and the lagoon is shallow and calm. Meanwhile, the beach's snack bar serves up fresh seafood and is exceptionally popular amongst visitors. La Plague de Maui is about 40 miles southeast of Papeete, but once you get there, you'll see why so many make the trip. Number two on the list is Papeete itself. Papeete is the capital city of not only Tahiti, but also of all the French Polynesia. Inside its boundaries, which sprawl across the island's northwest coast, are opportunities to shop, to dine, and to revel in the nightlife. When it comes to shopping, black pearls and island crabs are the main items to look for. The municipal market in Papeete is worth a visit too. And it is said that it is fun to browse the local market. It's filled with fresh veggies, fruits, meats, and fish, flowers, and artsy goods like hats and souvenirs. The market receives high praise among everyone that visits. Number three on the list is the Museum of Tahiti and her islands. The Museum of Tahiti and Her Islands is dedicated to educating you about the beautiful place of Tahiti. The museum is divided into four distinct sections. The first is about geography and natural history. The second is about pre-European culture. The third is about the effects of colonization. And lastly is on the natural wonders. If you get a bit tired of all of the exhibits, you can step outside for a great view of surfers tackling the ocean waves. Number four on the list is Moria. Moria is Tahiti's sister island. It has a more rugged landscape and it features a jagged outcropping called Magic Mountain. This mountain is covered with lush foliage. You can take ATV tours or take a hike to the top for panoramic views. There are also numerous beaches on Maria that are so popular. The island is home to a lagoonarium where you can scuba dive and snorkel. And also located here is the Maria Dolphin Center where you can gaze at marine life. Number five on the list is surfing in Tahiti. If you haven't surfed before and you're interested in learning, you are in luck. There are a few surf schools in Tahiti. They offer instruction for first timers, beginners, intermediate, and advanced surfers. Lessons can be private or held in a small or large group settings. And all equipment is provided in some of the packages. Number six on the list is James Norman Hall home. James Norman Hall, a World War I Army pilot, 
made a friendship with Charles Nordov shortly after the war's end, and the pair began collaborating on novels together. In 1920, the writers moved to Tahiti together and wrote several novels, including the celebrated Mutiny on the Bounty. This museum, which was opened by Hall's family, contains a number of the author's belongings. You can also take a short staff-led tour of the house, which is an exact reproduction of Hall's home. Number seven on the list is Vaipahi Garden. Situated along Tahiti's southern coast, Vaipahi Gardens are a true paradise. You will find more than 75 plant species from all over the world here. Everything from exotic flowers, a lily pond, and streams that wind through the area. You'll be very impressed with how well maintained this natural attraction is. Number eight on the list is Fatawa Waterfall. You may actually prefer visiting Tahiti during its rainy season for the Fatawa Waterfall alone, as more rainwater makes the waterfall even more dramatic. Located in the verdant Fatawa Valley, this natural wonder, sparkling water cascades into a large pool. To reach the waterfall though, you'll have to take a pretty steep hike, which is probably best done with a tour group or a guide. However, you will not regret this trek because the scenic hike is part of the allure and the adventure alone. Number nine on the list is Papinu. The shores of Papinu, a small village located a little more than five miles along the eastbound road of Papi, offer a reminder of the island's volcanic history. And the best part of all, this beach doesn't see nearly as much tourists as La Plague de Maui. And number 10 on the list is Plague du Taharu. Taharu Beach is on Tahiti's southern coast in Papara and characterized by its volcanic black sands, leafy green palm trees, and its width. This beach is large, meaning there's plenty of room to spread out and soak up the sun, and it's farmed by a deep blue water and frothy white waves. This beach is popular with families, locals, and tourists. This beach also boasts ideal swimming conditions, and you may even see some surfers working on their skills. Friends, you have made it to the end of the video. I would love to know where you are watching from so please don't forget to comment down below and as always i'm going to leave you with one of the best nuggets which is the best time to visit tahiti the one awesome thing about tahiti is that there's no really bad time to visit however if you're trying to figure out when the best time is to visit tahiti just to note that tahiti's peak season is from may to october Although the temperatures are balmy year round, Tahiti's winter season enjoys less humidity. With that being said, if you've come this far in the video and you are not a part of the tribe, don't forget to like, subscribe, and make sure to click that bell notification on to always so you're notified every time we travel the world. Have a wonderful, safe, and amazing time in Tahiti. And until next time, bye.